Okay, so uh, this is a continuation. Today is still February the 1st. Uh, I did pause uh, my video so that I could break down these cards a little bit uh, to shorten the video for you. Um, so what we actually have here is, uh, this is a Leo, okay? Uh, when I clarified the cards, I came up with Sekhmet. Sekhmet is the strength card. Uh, which uh, and you see that's a lion there it does represent the leo so it looks like i'm still dibbling and dabbling in the same energy i've been in but if i'm still in the same energy it's because i'm supposed to be here i asked for the divine messages uh and that it get to the intended listener so this is the message that needs to go out at this time so it looks like what happened here is this leo um they were trying to bring down an empress okay uh and now at this stage uh they were trying to ruin uh an empress uh prosperity they were trying to ruin them financially bring towers into their life they were trying to ruin their love life you know uh spreading lies they, they were just trying to bring this empress uh that they were jealous of a tower you know they might have had everything materialistically that they could have ever wanted in their life but the one thing that they were not able to purchase you know was a you know a personality you know uh, to be a person of substance you know there were certain qualities and talents and it could be a man or a woman energy is interchangeable uh, that this Empress uh, or even a possibly a Libra uh, had that they were jealous of that they did not have and when they would hear people compliment or talk about this person, you know, uh, it would stir up the demons inside of them, you know, of jealousy and cause them to act impulsively and do things and conspire with others to bring this person down simply because they were not willing to work on themselves, to learn something, to try. If they were jealous of something, this person did real good. Um, if it was something where they knew how to cook, they knew how to keep a home, they were artistic, uh, they were very creative, you know, they had a personality, they were very knowledgeable. Uh, they, it's an empress. So the empress is everything. You know, the, the empress is the table. You know, they're the door, they're the house, <laughs> they're the land, they're the fruit, <laughs> they're the trees. They're everything. The Empress is everything. Uh, so the Leo did some illegal things, actually, to try to bring down this Empress. So when I clarified it, uh, what we had... Uh oh these cards are sliding all over the place. Um, and that indicated to me also that the people they were working with, when I clarified it, the Hierophant came out reversed, okay? So it looks like they're in some type of legal trouble at this particular time. And with the, the the reason that the page of uh, cups is here is uh, the people that they were working with before um, they might have been working with the group two three other people um, because the three of cups had come out um, and it could have been family members possibly they were working with cousins family and all family doesn't have to be blood could pe be people they grew up with uh, people from the same hood <laughs> they get just you know, people, a group of people that they knew. They could have been living in the same home, or this could just be a group of people that are very close like family that run together, okay? They went with that four of wands here. So, but when I clarified it, everything had come to a halt with this eight of wands here, and the reason was these people turned on them. And the reason these people turned on them is they're trying to avoid legal issues and problems. they like, shoot, I got warrants. I don't got time for this mess. <laughs> they were trying to, uh, so now the Leo is in financial trouble. They're at risk, uh, you know, of losing their lifestyle. You know, uh, previously, and they showed up as the king of wands reverse, you know, which is someone, you know, that uses their beauty someone that uses you know their sex appeal but in a low vibrational way to manipulate people uh to support their lifestyle or to you know get people to do things for them but it's low vibrational they're not trying to inspire anyone which is what queen of wands and king of wands does upright uh, upright they're very beautiful you know they're a beacon of light to those around them and they inspire everybody to follow them and to copy them and to do better and to strive but in the reverse, there's someone that takes advantage of people's admiration of them. You know, uh, when people like stars, 
you know, when people take advantage of the fact that people admire them, instead they'll try to take things from them. So that could be like uh, a priest or like if the Hierophant card uh, came out here another way in a different energy, uh, that could represent like a minister or a priest or, um, you know, it could be a woman or a male in the ministry that a lot of people admire, but they're really just out there for the money. And they're taking advantage of people's faith and people's deepest beliefs, you know, in God and religion. Uh, and they're trusting it in this person's hands because they see this person as a beacon of light. But really, you know, they're a false prophet just taking people's money in the name of God. Okay, so that's the energy, the King of Wands reverse that this Leo uh, is in. So now they're in danger of possibly due to legal issues, losing their money, okay, losing their lifestyle. You know, it doesn't mean they have to lose everything, but they're in danger of, um, you know, a serious downgrade with the Nine of uh, Pentacles reversed. And the reason is now, uh, the, I mean, the reason is because of all the fuckery that they was into. But with the Ten of Swords here, I had the Three of Cups when I was clarifying the cards. And the Three of Cups says that um, their friends that they were working with before... Oh, it is right here. I'm sorry. I thought I put it back in the deck, but it is still here. So the people and group that they were working with uh, that uh, seemed to be like family, why that Four of Wands came out, um, they backstabbed and betrayed this person now. They're turning on this person. They're like, no, I, di I didn't do that. I didn't drive by our house. That was you. You know, I didn't do this. I didn't have nothing to do with that. I was with you when you did it, but shoot, you the one that did it. No, I didn't get her social security number. You did that shit. You the one that had access to it. You're not finna drag me into this, you know. So it seems uh, with the Atec card that also came out with that, this is the chariot card. This represents the chariot. This Leo is really trying hard with the uh, Cancer Chariot card to control the situation, but they lost control. That's why my cards were sliding all over the damn place. Uh, they lost control of the situation uh, because the people that were all involved, that were all laughing with them while they were doing their dirt in their little circle, all these people with the Three of Cups here that were all, you know, um, watching them try to bring down this empress and jeering and, and having jokes, you know, and, and laughing possibly because this empress is a spiritual person, you know, uh, now they feel backstabbed and betrayed because these people don't want to have nothing to do with court. You know, black folks don't like to go to court. <laughs> they don't want nothing to do with court. They don't want to get dragged and their name to get dragged into nothing. So these people are turning on them and they're trying to get the situation under control, trying to make gestures and offers to everybody, you know, but what came up in the cards um, was, uh, I believe it was uh, the eight of wands. Let me see. Yeah. The nine of wands. Yeah. The nine of wands had come out in two decks in both places. Uh, the reason that... Um, the reason that these people won't help them now is some of these very people that were with them, you know, in spirit, you know, and with them energetically while they were doing all, waging war on this empress, they had wounded them too in the past. You know, remember these people and these narcissists, even though they might have people around them, you know, um, in one accord with them when they're waging war on somebody, these very same people oftentimes, because a lot of times they're weak, of character and followers even though they're with the narcissist they've been wounded by that narcissist too but they have that uh what's it called uh it's a name for it when a person uh stockholm syndrome because they might have stockholm syndrome you know uh which is someone that starts to empathize you know with their uh kidnapper after a period of time with their abuser after a period of time they get used to being around this abuser and they're just happy they're no longer abusing them. They're just happy, you know, oh, we're picking on someone else now, so I still get to be around you and watch you do what you were doing to me to somebody else. I'm just happy you're not doing it to me anymore. So I believe some of these people they were with have also been victims of this Leo narcissist. They've been wounded also by this Leo narcissist. And now they're actually happy to see this person get in their karma. And, and now they feel backstabbed and betrayed by these people. But in actuality, this Leo backstabbed and betrayed themselves. 
you would, you've treated these other people the same way that you wage war on this empress. I wouldn't be surprised if the people around you not only were happy to see you get your karma, you know, but was praying and waiting around for the day when it would come back around to you. So whoever this is, they no longer have, you know, their little entourage, you know. You, you were shitting on people that were in your entourage and they were with you when you started shitting on other people, but they didn't forget what you did to them either. So now these people, there's no loyalty now. There's no loyalty there, okay? All right. So uh, whoever this is, they're not making any progress in digging their way, you know, out of uh, this hole and mess that they're into, you know, uh, the loyalty, everything they had, everything came to a complete stop for them now. They're stuck. Now they're by themselves. All the shit that they was doing before, now they're kind of stuck by themselves. Now, I got the two of wands reversed here, uh, which does indicate uh, someone that is working on themselves, possibly, okay? This, re this represents someone staying put, someone going within. You know, upright, it means to uh, make plans or possibly getting ready to travel. It's a world card. But in the reverse, uh, you're not going anywhere. You're staying put. You're going within. So this person, uh, when I clarified it, it's showing that they want to release all these burdens now. They want to release all these burdens, you know, um, they want to release all these burdens, you know, and move uh, into calmer waters. They're tired of the sleepless nights, the anxiety, what's going to come out, what am I going to lose, you know, uh, and, and now they're, they're watching also the Empress. They're also watching the Empress to see if they can make an offer possibly to try to get things squared away and straightened out. But uh, it, the Two of Cups kept coming out in the reverse uh, because they're not going to get a new start with this Empress. This Empress uh, was a spiritual high priestess, okay? This Empress was a spiritual high priestess that came into their life uh, and... Uh, and while they were in their life, they were given a mission. Even when they knew that this person was going against them, they were following their higher up orders. They understood they had a higher purpose and a certain designated time to be in this person's life, you know, to observe them, uh, to watch their behavior, to give them a little bit of guidance, and then to allow them to get into the karma, which would ultimately put them into the sun which would ultimately lead to their higher path. You know, some of these high priestess, some of these high priestess and empress uh, that are spiritually inclined and come here with a specific mission, they come here with assignments, okay? And sometimes they get assigned to a relationship or a friendship with a person uh, that is supposed to be a star, okay? Aquarius energy. Sometimes they get assigned to fallen stars to work with them for a little while to help to get them back on their guided path. So in actuality, while they're helping to bring that person their karma, they're also helping to get that person through towers uh, on their guided path. And that's the reason why they didn't walk away a long time ago, because they were under divine orders. Believe it or not, I'm telling you, some of these high priestess are not from this planet. I'm telling you, they're in a human body, but they are, they are walking in their divine purpose. And they come here with a whole order fill, a whole order fill of people that they have to uh, work with throughout their lives. And when their time is up with that person, you know, they step back and then the person gets hit with a tower. But a lot of times these high priestess have already sold into these people exactly the feedback that they needed and the information they needed to get on their path. And then when their time is up with that person, it's time for them to step back and allow the tower to hit. But they already gave the person the blueprint they need because they're a fallen star and they were sent to get that person on their path so that they can turn it around and get on their divine path. Okay. So this person, uh, this Leo, uh, is the king of wands reverse, like I said. Um, and, you know, the truth uh, card came out, which is the ace of swords, you know, meaning, you know, that this message is exactly the truth of what's going on. Uh, and what's going on in this line here is this person wants to release the burden. And now I'm believing they're wanting to do the hard work now. Now, uh, now with, the, with the knight of wands, this card represents the knight of wands. 
Okay, so this person with a lot of passion, you know, you know, they're galloping back and forth because you know the Knight of Wands uh, usually comes on a horse. You know, it's a fire sign, and they're they're, they're galloping all uh, all around the place trying to put out fires everywhere. You know, with a lot of passion, they're trying to get a situation under control. Okay, so they're trying to, you know, um, with the Cancer Chariot card uh, that came out there, they're trying to get their life under control and the whole situation under control. And now they're finally realizing there are no shortcuts. They have to do it the right way. But, you know, they're going at it ferociously. You know, they are going at it ferociously right now. They, they were looking and watching to see, since all their friends turned their back on them, to see if... Um, to see if the person that they try to wound, uh, this empress, you know, they could make an offer to them. But they're seeing that uh, that offer is being rejected because that empress is a high priestess. And that empress already knows uh, the divine told them the time is up with that person. Your time is up with that person. You've already completed your mission. Now it's that person is going to have to find them what, their way. You know, they're going to find their way for the rest of their mission. They're going to get on their path now, okay? Because the Sun card did come out uh, for that Leo in the end of uh, when I was clarifying the cards, which means this person is a star. And this is what actually came out uh, in the last reading I did yesterday. This person is a star, but they're a fallen star. And they needed to get on their divine path. This person actually does have a higher purpose. And this person one day is going to be somewhere ministering to people and helping to raise the frequency. Because it's a very powerful person that right now, like Lucifer, is a fallen star that needed to experience a tower to get them on their right path. So they're working very uh, ferociously on themselves. You see? They're going to work now. But they're trying to do it quickly, and they're trying, remember, uh, this is all new and fresh to them, so they're trying to um, get everything under control. Uh, they don't know what to take and what to leave. Like when I uh, began in the first reading that got cut off, um, they're trying to have a new start, but they're not going to get a new start and just immediately be uh, in this Nine of Pentacles lifestyle. You know, it, you're not going to see results that quickly. Uh, you have to bring uh, balance and temperance to the situation, and you have to tear away to rebuild. You have to tear away, like I said, uh, the steps for Alcoholic Anonymous. You can't party in the same circles. You can't go around the same people. You can't do the same things. You know, you can't have the same thought process. You can't sit around and watch other people do dirt, you know, uh, if it had something to do with how you were thinking and behaving, uh, codependent behaviors, taking advantage, being an opportunist, you know. Uh, well, I won't do it anymore, but I'm still going to run in circles of people that do this shit and watch them do it. No, you're, th that puts you in that same low vibration too. Everything has to be rebuilt. Everything has to be brand new. You know, you're not going to take old furniture, you know, with roach eggs into it and uh, the old refrigerator with roach eggs in the bottom into a brand new house. Everything has to be brand new going forward. Nothing from the past can come. Okay. That's why that tower had hit. That tower had hit. The tower that they were trying to cause uh, the empress here to be in the five of pentacles trying to affect the empress that came to help them. Uh, they were trying to uh, affect their finances. They were trying to affect their uh, love life uh, and cause a tower in this empress life but they didn't realize this high priestess empress was there to give them a tower a tower that would knock everything down and get rid white wash away the that dirty old cracked up foundation that they had that they were operating from so that they could rebuild a fresh new one and now they're very dissatisfied they're very dissatisfied. And this is their justice. This is Amit. The Amit card came out. Who, me? Yes, you. Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? <laughs> Amit is judgment. Amit is here. Yes. To bring judgment. This is judgment for that person. But that judgment is bringing that person their karma. See, when I clarified the cards, uh, that, that judgment is bringing that person their karma. But the karma that's being brought to that person ultimately is going to put them into the sun. Okay? Okay. Now, this person does want to reverse uh, endings 
This person wants to reverse an ending, you know, uh, with the person that they injured. But as I stated already, that person was only brought into their life for a designated amount of time. They had a contract with them. They had a spiritual contract with that person. This high priestess had a, has a very special purpose uh, in their life here on earth. They had pre-designated contracts that they came with them, uh, came here with, of assignments of people that they were supposed to spend a specific amount of time with and work with and bring them a tower and then step away. So it could bring those people, you know, into their star energy. And I didn't even clarify this. Um, these two cards came out, which is the moon card uh, reverse and uh, the four of scarabs. The reason that group that was working with that Leo before uh, is stepping away is because it's coming illuminated that someone was stealing money. There was some type of gain, some type of financial gain that whether it was through fraud or whatever was done, uh, whether they were successful or not, you know, they know that the truth is coming out and it's becoming illuminated that this person was doing some kind of a fraud or stealing and they don't want any part of it. That's why they were backstabbing now and betraying. Or that's why that Leo feels backstabbed and betrayed by all these people that know about all the dirt that they were doing. But that did come out. Okay? The moon reversed. The moon is secrets. But it's becoming illuminated about whatever... Uh, uh, transactions took place to steal someone's finance wealth or money okay so where are we now so this person is now um, this person is now trying to work on their heart you know they're trying to work on themselves but uh, but you know this is a new process for them so they are understanding now that um, or they're learning right now how this thing works. You know, like I said before, you know, they want to do something very quickly. Uh, that's why the Knight of Swords came out. They want to take a very quick action, you know, to get back into that Nine of Pentacles. Let me just do what I have to do then really fast just to make sure that I'm still in the Nine of Pentacles. And the Temperance card came out reversed because it doesn't work like that. You know, you didn't build up your life overnight and you're not going to build a brand new life overnight either. And you're not going to take anything from your past. You know, you are going to clean yourself spiritually, energetically. You're going to clean your space. You're going to uh, get these people away from you um, that are low vibrational. Hey, maybe one day when you come back after your transformation, you will emerge also as the queen of or king of wands upright and the same people that might have been following you when you were doing your bullshit might be the same people that now you inspire uh to do more high vibrational things remember you're the leader you're a leo you are the leader people are inspired by you you know uh, leos are very beautiful and, and majestic like the lion so people all look up to the leo female or male so you inspire people to do things. So if you could inspire people to be involved in some low vibrational shit, then you can also inspire people. Whatever you do, you are the star. So whatever these people see you doing because they're followers, you know, they're going to follow behind you. They, they're they're going to copy too. Oh, maybe I want to do that too. Oh, I want to change my life too. Oh, I want to get on the same path. What are you reading now? What are you studying? What are you up to? You know, these people follow and look up to you. You're the leader of the pack. So when you go through your transformation, and that's why I believe you are the star, because when you go through your transformation, all the people in your community and in your circle around you are going to get in alignment with you. That All those low vibrational people are going to get in alignment with you. And that's how it works with stars. That's how it works with... Um, uh, these high vibrational people that are placed strategically and spread out all over the planet, the 144. You know, they're there to raise the frequency and vibration of the planet because these people are influencers. You know, it, it only takes one, you know, in a whole room of people to inspire everyone. That's why you have music artists like Michael Jackson that inspired a whole entire world with just his music and energy alone. You know, you had people running around here looking crazy, you know, with high waters, white socks and a goddamn glove. 
<laughs> trying to moonwalk. Okay? Stars are there to inspire people and they are influencers. And because you are a star, uh, that is the reason why you had to get this tower and go through this transformation. Because you are the star in your community, but you're low vibrational. And after you uh, go through your transformation, you're going to inspire other people to raise their vibration and to get on another path too. Okay? So at this point, you know... Uh, like I said, this Leo, uh, they've had everyone kind of turn their back uh, on them. You know, what they're going through is karma. They're going through karma. They're getting the justice. It's going to put them on their divine path. But uh, while it's putting them on their divine path, you know, they're not going to be able, there are no shortcuts. Uh, it's not going to put you instantly. It's not going to instantly put you in a nine of pentacles. It's not going to happen like that. It's going to, this is going to take time to go through this transformation. You are going to have to just go ahead and take this ass whooping you're about to get. Okay? It's coming. Go ahead and brace yourself for it. Did your mama ever promise you an ass whooping when you got home? Did your mama ever tell you in a grocery store, wait till we get home? And you had to anticipate that shit and you were hoping they would forget? But hell no. Your mama was like mine. She didn't forget that shit. <laughs> she was getting warmed up, getting souped up for it. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be happy in the long term end results when you are in the sun. You are destined to live a prosperous, happy uh, life in plenty of prosperity. You are destined for this. You are you are the star. That's what came out in the other deck. You are low vibrational as fuck, but you still are the star. You came here with a destiny. You know, you're one of the chosen ones. Believe it or not, you are one of the chosen ones. Which is why another chosen one that at some point in their life was put on their divine path had to come and nudge you and wake you up a little bit. They had to come and tap you the same way somebody came and tapped them. People of a specific spiritual bloodline, you know, all come here for a specific purpose to wake folks up. When they see others that come from the same place they do, spiritually, you know, and recognize them, even if they're still in their low vibrational energy, they come and nudge them. You know, like that brother uh, did nudge Malcolm X while he was in jail. You know, he saw the divinity within him and he nudged him. You know, he tapped him. If he said, it's time for me to tap you now to get help get him on his path. Okay, sometimes you have somebody in your life, if you have a divine person that comes in your life and they spiritually tap you. Hey, you one of us. I know you don't know it right now, but I can see it in you, just like somebody saw it in me. So I'm here to tap you. I'm here to spend a little bit of time with you so I can tap you. And then when you get your tower and go through your transformation, you're going to see somebody else and you're going to tap them. Time to wake up. It's time to walk in your calling. It's time to get on your divine path now. You've had your fun. Okay, so I'm sorry I had to do this reading in two separate parts, um, but there you go. Uh, I am Kuan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot.